Welcome back. A few people requested a uh, next part, so um, I will do one. Now, in the meantime, I've been um, quite wanting to improve on what I've done so far. So I have made a few um, a few tests with um, being more efficient, getting a few minutes here and here, mostly because I wanted to remove the part where um, with the saves coming for uh, the prayer because well it doesn't take any in-game time because you just relieve the same um, second in uh, again and again it does take quite a while so that's something I wanted to remove and just move everything here and here again a few minutes and uh, I know I have a, a new way that let unlock both the writing perk and remove the saves coming because you are 100% for all of the perk. Now here in part 3 where we left um, was alchemy uh, both 1 and 2 is ready so we can start to make what we want in alchemy mostly a fertilizer and what we are missing here is we need the miller to be upgraded as well because the miller has the key to uh, us buying some uh, up seed and some up and we sort of do the same as what we did for uh, the farmer so to upgrade the miller my plan is to sell him 500 firewood and buy a few things from him because he still will need a little bit of money to uh, increase his up uh, inventory so let's make some billets and a lot of firewood One of the big downside of uh, improving the NPC by selling them uh, firewood like I'm doing here or any items that they can buy compared to using the blessing of commerce is that NPC don't actually have any money. They have a lot of capital because their inventory is full of stuff so the game considers them to be wealthy enough to be uh, uh, tier upgraded but because they don't have any um, money to buy um, the new stuff that they unlock with a tier, it means that they generally don't have enough that you can buy it if you want to buy something from them. And then once I will be done with the firewood, I will show that with the farmer because we upgraded the farmer, so the farmer has all tier unlock. But what we want from him in tier 3, he doesn't have any money to... Uh, increase his stock. And once again, so we sell a lot of it. And like before, because now the price is solo, it's even free for him, so we just gift him to him. Now here that would be enough to unlock tier 3, but not enough to unlock tier uh, tier 2, but not enough to unlock tier 3. And he has absolutely no money left. So what we want to do is buy some stuff and sell it back. And every time we do that, it does make a small profit. And I actually missed one. And 
and that here will be enough. Like I said, it's important that they do still have a little bit of money and not just a lot of uh, stuff like firewood here, because the firewood will only sell like a few per night, and they will still be broke for the next like hundred of day. We can see like the farmer is completely broke. He had still a little bit of money, so we can see stock in tier two is almost full, and we have enough to buy the four onions that we actually want. But we, what we also want from him is some pumpkin, and here you can see there is just one. And because he has no money, it couldn't have more. Like there is three here and um, only one here. Now by buying a few uh, things from him, he will um, be able to buy more back, like replenish both the stocks that from uh, that we have bought from him, and uh, hopefully some uh, extra pumpkin that we don't have to grow any ourselves. Now that it's done, the next step is to remove all of the blockades that we have in the underground. And actually it was missing one tree. That should be enough. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Need to make the wedge. Instead of the immediate goal of removing all of the blockage, um, like I said in part three, the next step is to start producing all of the farming stuff that we need. Specifically, we need wine, wine we need some beer, and we need some gold onion. So we need some wine for a few quests. Uh, for the Inquisitor quest, for uh, Gary quest line to start uh, Stranger Sin, and um, also to make the cookbook from um, Game of Thrones uh, donkey quest line. Here I'm not going in front of a snake because as soon as you go in front, it starts a cutscene, and as well it make it changes behavior. Instead of coming every night, it will come only during his day and I want him to come every night at least until uh, the first time I speak to him because ideally what you want to do is you want to meet a snake and 
give him the key and open the door on the night between Salmon Day and Mrs. Charm Day because what it make what it achieve is that Snake will stay here during the day so you can do all the few uh, fetch quest line between him and uh, Mrs. Charm on the same day instead of having to wait a week uh, in between every one of the step. No, I've just seen that we have some unprocessed body and of course that's not good. Terrible uh, graveyard keeper. So all of my body were rotting. I didn't extract any of the soul. And the only thing I'm going to remove from them is the blood, the fat, the flesh, and the skull. Probably a skin from uh, time to time. That's because the fat is quite useful in alchemy to um, make a boost fertilizer. Blood we need. 20 or 24 of it for um, the ritual place. The meat we need to make burger. And the skull we also need for uh, the ritual place. And we need 24 um, skull for the ritual place. So that's still quite uh, a lot compared to what we have now. So if, if you let the uh, body rot, you should also probably remove the scene shard if you want to play uh, long term because the scene shard are quite useful if you want to make some really um, high skull body. Now of course the best way is to actually treat the corpse correctly and uh, use of the all of the better cell soul machine to uh, ease the soul, but I don't have time to that for that. This for me not until we are done with setting up everything. Uh, that's all we need. Take that because we probably need a little bit more money. Oh, and first step.
here we can finally make our fertilizer. While it's very, I would say, boring uh, to use both fertilizer because you have to make a lot of click every time you uh, the harvest is finished and you harvest it and reseed it. The speed is so um, useful. I mean, more than half the time uh, it takes for uh, the crops to um, be mature. And I completely missed something. I should have been going to the merchant and buying more grapes. Now we don't have access to blueprint table, but there is enough of those pre-built um, grape wines that we can already plant. And with the boost and the fertilizer, it will give us four gold seed, and we will probably be able to replant that uh, three times. And in terms of time, it's going to take us almost two days for um, all of those um, grapes to be ready. So by next, uh, not this one, but the next rest day, uh, we should have the first wine and hopefully as well um, our first uh, gold beer ready. And we'll do the same thing here, of course, for onion. As you can see, it's way faster to reseed uh, with only one. And I prefer to use speed for uh, all of the basic one because going to the farmer to buy um, a few from time to time is, I find, less time consuming than uh, crafting some uh, uh, silver fertilizer. And now that we have that ready, uh, we also need some wheat and probably a little bit of water. That's the bread we use for the burger, and of course the meat. You don't even need that much. I believe you need nine in total to um, uh, for all of the Inquisitor buffet. And I generally make one more for uh, the dinner you need to prepare for the merchant. The gold burger are quite an easy uh, main meal to use, and high quality as well, of course. While our wine is um, growing, I try to set up everything we need to process the wine. We have we are way far from all of the green point we need to um, unlock all of that. If you look, 
I couldn't access one, but I'm still missing both the brewing and the strong alcohol. Which are the ones that are really needed the rest. Can be useful, but not as necessary as those one. stone, 26 simple, 4 complex iron pot, 52 flitch and 25 nail. Relatively easy to make and as well when, for example the stone that I need, I already calculated that when I went to the quarry and uh, made everything and uh, harvested some stone and some iron. And 25. That's all the rest that I have on me because I'm missing a brewing stand. Uh, to make beer. And the distillation uh, cube. But that's the first part because the wine is, I would say, the longest part to make. I want to cook the meat, but I'll need some uh, to keep some carrot on it. And that will go below as well as some corn.
we have some face left. Yes, 11. And something to study. Nothing here. Not later. No confession today. Oh, it's night. with me 5 M probe for the future buffet tent I can all put here put back the grave decoration is probably a waste of time because a little bit of money they would provide it's probably not worth the 40 seconds to come here and uh, put them down but too late No, it has been three nights since we planted everything and upgraded um, the miller. So you can come back. And if you want, you can also set an exact timer to know exactly when you need to come back for, um, for here, because those ones are not ready. They take a little bit less time than the onion. They would be ready in something like really 40 seconds. I would say midday of the day, but what I want to show is for the up. Normally, with the amount of money I gave him from my last test, that should be enough. Oh, I'm missing one more night. But when I'm here, I'm going to buy was that to make sure he has enough money to have one more upseed because what we want of course to us to have four of that. So we can start to plant it. Tent. 
And you can see what I found a little bit frustrating when I arrived here is that I have everything I need to start to make all of the components for um, the next step of the Inquisitor, which is my next target to um, go down the Inquisitor questline. But just because I started a little bit my harvest late, that I don't have enough and I won't have enough until uh, next week. So that's why I'm saying that I was trying to improve the part before. Specifically, I want to make sure that I can improve both of the as a miller and the farmer on the week before. That this week I can al I already start to uh, produce some um, some gold ops and some gold wine. Uh, yes, I want more nail twenty. It will be just enough. And one very important point that I always forget is that we need to make beer, and to make beer, we need a lot of water. But unfortunately, it's improved. Uh, water is not, uh, is a little bit too expensive in the tech tree for now. We have so as well nothing to do um, from an nothing that um, we have to do. I mean, we have to wait. So while we wait, I also start to prepare everything for the merchant quest line because it's also a quest line that takes a lot of time and also give us something. And of course, the next step is to open our business with the merchant and to start to sell crate. And well, selling crate is good for money, it's not as good as the tavern, so I'm not going to focus on it, but I'm going to at least make one sell to first pay the price um, from the trade license that we'll have to buy, and also to finance the opening of the tavern. And here, that's a good thing about having gold fertilizers, that, that all of them produce two um, improved seed. And ideally, if you um, didn't forget like me, or during uh, the merchant day to go and buy eight more, right now you would have four uh, producing some silver grapes and two producing some gold grapes. Now in terms of merchant uh, crates, you have a lot of matters that you can uh, build or vegetable as well that you can sell uh, with a merchant. I generally prefer to sell nails because it's one of the easier to uh, make and the cheaper, uh, cheapest in terms of time and iron. The vegetables are quite nice, but the problem is you need a lot of time to ramp up your production of uh, gold vegetable for it to be uh, worth it. And that's also the one that pay more. Just I want it now, and I don't have a few weeks to uh, start multiplying uh, onion seed or uh, lentil seed or whichever other vegetables that we could sell. So nail it will be.
No, one more night has two more nights actually have passed, so the miller should have at least one more up seed that I can buy so that I can start to plant them. And hopefully I'll also buy one gold op so that I can directly start to produce beer. Certificate. And, oh yes, we upgraded the church. Happy to help. And one point that is quite expensive for um, the merchant business, outside of the trade license, is actually making all of the flyers that you need. Because each pack of ten flyers costs one ink and paper. So that's why I'm going to buy six feather because we'll use all of it just to uh, make some flyer by hand. And before I teleport, I should have bought some seed oil as well, unless I have enough. No. I should have done that directly, that's good 40 seconds wasted. Carrots are done, we can start cook all the meat and it's almost the end of the week. Like I said, from this point on it's a lot of more waiting than actually uh, crafting uh, things. some flyer. Like I said, it will make a lot of room because the pen and ink are used 50% each time you make some flyers. We want um, 10 flyer for the Inquisitor, 60 for the Merchant, and 
we'll also want for way later another 10 for the tavern uh, to organize some event but that for a few weeks at least until we uh, we need them but while I'm in front and because you can queue them and that's quite long I might as well uh, directly make 10 more So keep in mind, you will need one ink and some clean paper to give to uh, Wagner in the tavern. Because he will need them to uh, progress his quest line at some point. Overall, I will um, use to make some um, what is it called polishing paste to make some lens and for the ritual place. So I'm trying to group everything I can to uh, save them in the future. The next batch of onion I don't need quickly. That's why I'm not putting any boost fertilizer. because the next batch is for the preparing the dinner. And here's that makes them four by four. We have enough to make 16, we need three times five. So we'll have one left. And once we craft four more, we'll have exactly five um, left to make some dinner. Everything works perfectly. Like I said, of course, right now, if we, if I didn't forget to buy more um, seed, we could almost have enough to um, make our first batch of wine. Generally, you will need a second harvest until you have enough, specifically like gold one, to ensure that you can make a silver one. And that will be it for uh, part four. Next up would be unlocking uh, the blacksmith's perk because we need to make like 400 and 48 nail or something like that. So uh, making three more instead of making 11 instead of eight um, will help quite a lot. And then the rest of our point will be for marble and the missing um, distillation deck. That's sort of all we need to uh, finish the game. Yeah, so the only one of the big improvements I made was in week two to have enough blue point, mostly by crafting something like 20 um, fence grave to unlock those two. Because with both playwright and writer perk, you have 100% chance of uh, converting a gold story into a gold note, and the chance to make a gold chapter with two gold note and one silver note is 57% instead of 27, which is a big improvement because it saves a lot of time uh, instead of reloading until you have the correct result. So, i see you next time if, I, um, if you want me to do a part five. Um, if you want me to upload, I have recorded the new version of the part one and two to see exactly what I changed, small, some really small part, uh, like changing a little bit of the order and making sure that I 
spend less time running around and more focusing on what I need to do. So let me know what you want and uh, I'll see you next time.